Hello and welcome. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to add the menu onto your website. All right, so to do that, we need to come all the way down here to appearance and then click on menus. So the first thing you wanna do is to give this menu a name. So I'm just gonna call my main menu like that and then cl click on create menu. So now that our menu has been created, we need to add pages onto that menu. And to do that, you need to select all these pages here and then click on add to menu. Now we're not done yet. What we need to do next is to first save it and then assign the menu. So I'm, we're gonna go to manage locations. So this top menu needs to be assigned to the main menu which we've just created. So this process has to be done once, so don't worry about it. So I'm gonna click on save changes. So that's all set. Let's go back to edit menus. So what's really cool with this is you can actually rearrange these to the order that you want. So before I can do that, let me show you what it looks like now, and then we're gonna do the changes. So I'm gonna save the menu. Now we're gonna to go to our website, refresh the page, and now you can see that these are the pages that we've just created. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, so let's say you want this home to be right here at the beginning. The contact needs to be the last one. To do that, let's go back to our menu editor. So just go on to the page itself, drag all the way to the top, the contact, let's drag it all the way to the bottom. So that's the order now that's, that's gonna be shown on our website. So the first one's gonna be home, testimonial, services, contact. So let's save the menu and refresh the page and see if that change has been made. So let's refresh. And now you can see that home, testimonial, services, contact in that order, just like that. Right, pretty cool. Now, what if we need to add submenus? So to add a submenu, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is to click, drag to the right slightly, and then now services has become a submenu of testimonials. So let's click save menu and take a look at that. So I'm back here, I'm just gonna refresh this page to see our changes, and already you can see that testimonials has this little arrow right there. And if I put my mouse over it, you can see that it's showing services as our submenu. So you can go crazy with this, you know, you can have all your submenus, sub, sub menus, and so on. But obviously you wanna keep this clean because it needs to be quite easy for the user to navigate your website. So here, we can see that it's working fine. Okay, so now if you wanna get rid of that submenu, just drag it to the left like that, click on save, and then if we refresh, it's back to normal. Okay, so now let's say you want to add a link on this menu, but which is not a page that you've necessarily built. So these are called custom links. So let's come here to custom links. So let's say my link URL needs to go to dvuniversity.com, which is my website. And then the link text needs to be called courses, or let's call this free courses. Okay, like that. If I add this to the menu, now this is a custom link, but it will be shown on our menu. And if you click on it, it takes you sternly to the URL that I've just mentioned. Okay, I'm gonna save the menu. And now if I come to the front end of our website and refresh, we can see free courses is now there. And if we click it, it now goes to an external website, which is my other website. Okay, pretty cool. So that's how you can add your custom links onto this menu.